All right, we are back for the last step for this project. So you're going to pick two or three, two or three analogous colors to use for your background, for your sky. Now I would like my kitties to kind of be, I would like it to be at nighttime. So I'm gonna choose like my pink or purple or blue. Um, you could definitely do the pinks and reds and oranges if you would like to. Um, but the next, the very cool thing we're gonna add um, is salt. And if you really want it to stand out and you really wanna see it, those cool colors work best. So I'll show you that in just a second. But you have a couple different options on how to do this as well. So I have my cats all um, colored, they're all done. But the first thing I'm going to show you is what we call the wet on wet technique. So if I just take a clean paintbrush and I'm just painting a small area with water, so I still, I don't wanna go over my cat. I do wanna make sure I'm going around it, but if I add some water and then I take some paint and I just touch it to that space. Did you see what happened? I touch it and it spreads out. I can do that and I can create these blotches of color. I can make a, take another color like my blue violet and I can do that in the white spaces and that will make those colors mix together. So if you wanna do that all the way around, you can. That is one option. Another option is to just paint normally. So if I just paint normally with my analogous colors, so actually because my analogous colors, my blue, I'm sorry, my red violet and my violet are neighbor colors, I can blend those together or I can keep it splotchy for that tie-dyed kind of look, but I can spread that out. Now, while it's wet, while it's wet and still a little shiny, I can take a little salt. I can add a pinch of salt and I'm just taking a little pinch and I'm sprinkling it just a little bit on the wet areas. If you're at home and you have an actual salt shaker, you can use that too. I'll use that next. Let me turn my paper. I'm going to take my analogous, same analogous colors. I'm going to paint with blue. I'm gonna make sure I'm going around my kitty carefully. I'm gonna take my other analogous color, my violet or my blue violet. And I'm gonna fill in that empty space. Very important to work on a placemat for this. Okay, and again, while it's still wet, I'm gonna go shake. Oh, that was a lot. Maybe a salt shaker is not the best idea. I'll show you what that does in a second. It should start working in a minute or two. So I'm gonna just keep going with my background using those same three analogous colors that I started with. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna finish this area. Take some of my red violet. Oh, I got right in my kitty's ear. I'm sorry, kitty. Being really careful behind my cat there. Let me take another little bit. Oops, that's a lot of blue. I'm gonna make sure I spread that out a little bit. Take some more blue, fill in the background there. Now remember, while it's still wet, while it's still shiny, I'm gonna take a little pinch of salt. Just a little, take a little pinch of salt. Now you don't have to do this. I'll show you up close what it's doing in just a second. Let me finish up my area here. So I've got my blue. Okay. Finished up my blue, maybe add a little purple in there. While it's still wet, take a little bincy, teensy bit of salt and add that. All right, <clears throat> so if you look, my paper's a little bit flimsy here, but if I look closely, what is that salt doing? That salt is acting like a sponge and what it's doing is it's going and soaking up some of my water and some of my color. So it leaves these really pretty, it almost looks like little snowflakes. 
like little snowflakes in the air, which is perfect for this time of year. But it soaks up some of that color and it gives you a really neat texture in the background. So let me show you what it looks like on some dried pieces of paper. So this is a background like what you might have. This is with analogous colors. We've got blue, green, blue, blue, violet, violet. And this has had salt sprinkled on it while it was still wet. And you can see where the salt kind of soaked up that color in that water. If you chose to do analogous colors of with the warm colors. So this is what happens if you sprinkle too much salt. It kind of gets a little foggy, which is still very pretty. But if you can do it really carefully and just sprinkle just tads, like teeny little grains of salt, it'll look more like this. Um, that looks more like snowflakes in the background. So the salt is completely optional. Don't feel like you need to do that. But when you're all done, you will have a beautiful sky. Please make sure you're using those analogous colors. And that's it. Please don't forget to submit your final project so I can see it all done. For those of you working on this at school, I will see it in school. I hope you enjoyed our analogous color um, lesson, our color wheel lesson, and our drawing of our cats on a fence. Have a great day, everyone.